Hey everybody, this is my guide for all 20 golden chests that you can find throughout Destiny. There's five on each planet. There's a little counter on the map of each planet. Uh, if the chest is not there, that means you already picked it up. And the level of the item is tied to the level of the enemies surrounding the chest. So if you wait till you level 20 to pick up some of the early game chests, they won't be very helpful. I put a lot of time into these videos, so you sharing this video and your likes and comments help me keep making more of these. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Destiny updates. I'm cranking out a ton of really good videos right now. So anyway, here's the guide. So the first golden chest location is during the mission restoration. And this chest is nearly impossible to miss. Just follow the mission markers from this opening area. And eventually you go up a short flight of stairs to find the first chest just sitting there on a workbench. And like I said before, it's not there because I already picked it up before I recorded. Now the chests become a little bit trickier to find. Golden chest number two is during the mission, The Dark Within. There's a wizard here. You have to kill Fight him. your way through the mission, almost to the end of the mission, until you encounter the wizard. In the room with the wizard, in the back left corner, use your jetpack to jump on top of these boxes. And in this corner, up above away from the enemies, is the second treasure chest. Golden chest number three is during the mission, The War Mind. Follow the mission markers until you see this large waterfall as you're going through these canyons. And around the next corner, keep an eye out for a smaller trickling waterfall that's kind of covering up a small cave. And in that cave behind that small trickling waterfall is the third golden chest. Golden chest number four is not too far from that previous chest. During the mission Warmind, after that large waterfall, continue to follow the river all the way down to the water. Once you hit the shoreline, turn left and follow the shore a little bit further around this odd structure here, and you'll see the fourth golden chest along the beach. And the fifth and final golden chest of the old Russia section on Earth is during the mission The Devil's Lair. At the very final boss fight against this large glowing orb called Sepix Prime. Uh, underneath the final boss, kind of to the right if you're facing him, is the final golden chest. And you do have enough time to pick up this chest after the boss fight, so you don't need to rush to it like I am right now. And then after getting that chest, you will get rewarded with the new sparrow. Hello everybody, welcome to my golden chests location video for the moon for Destiny. The first golden chest is choose the mission, the Sword of Crota. In any of these you can choose the starting area, but this just makes it easier to follow the waypoints. Uh, look for that large natural ramp on the right side, and to the left of the ramp, behind some rocks, is the first chest. The next two golden chests can be found during the mission The World's Grave. So choose that and it'll make it a lot easier just to follow the waypoints. So as you make your way through the Hall of Wisdom, go down the spiral staircase and uh, kind of drop into the water. and follow the water around a corner, and the second treasure chest will be there soaking in the water. Golden chest number three on the moon, at the very end of the mission, The World's Grace. Uh, in this final standoff room, you'll get an opportunity to pick this up. You're gonna kill a whole bunch of enemies here, but if you wanna grab the chest before you start that final standoff, before deploying Ghost, just turn around, and uh, it's there, kind of buried in the rocks. Golden chest number four. You're going to make your way over to the Temple of Crota. So from the starting area, just kind of hang to the right. This is going to be a little bit longer of a section, just because it's a little bit trickier to find than some of the others. 
At least I had a harder time finding it. So you're going to make your way over the Temple of Crota. After killing that large ogre, you're going to make your way down these uh, spiral stairs over here. And there's a ship kind of hanging in the middle. You want to jump onto that and then look kind of back towards where you came from and down into the pit. And on the wall of the pit, you'll see the fourth golden chest. And the fifth and final golden chest on the moon is at the very end of the strike mission, the summoning pits. Very similar to the, uh, the final golden chest on earth. It's at the end of the final boss of the final strike mission of the whole planet. So when you get to the final boss, Fogoth, the Untamed, there's a landing pad with a final golden chest on this, uh, on this platform behind him. Hello everybody, here are the five golden chest locations on Venus. The first one is along the Shattered Coast. So just choose the patrol mission and then follow my route here and I will lead you right to the first golden chest. Just kind of stay to the right from the spawn. You can just skip past all the enemies you see. It's not too hard to scoot right past them. You see this large statue up here on the right? That means you're getting close. Now, near that large statue is the entrance towards the Ishtar Academy. Just go up these stairs here, through the door, and down into this hole. And behind this pillar straight ahead is the first golden chest. Golden chest number two is during the mission Ishtar Collective. You can also do patrolling, but it's easiest just to kind of follow the waypoints that the Ishtar Collective mission gives you. Late in the mission, you'll hit your first respawning restricted checkpoint. And the golden chest is in this area here. So just run straight ahead. And it's in this kind of back corner. You have that building with the satellite dish on top of it in the middle. And then behind this kind of orange trailer back here, I'm gonna jump up and over. And a little platform back here and tucked away in a corner is the second treasure chest. The next two golden treasure chests can be found during the Scourge of Winter mission. A little bit into the mission, you'll come to this cave. We're gonna get ambushed by a couple uh, two or four-handed, I think, sword-wielding guys, uh, Kel's guard. You can see him right here. And in this cave, um, along the top, along a little cliff, and I actually took a really tricky way to get there. Uh, you can just jump up there along the cliff, or you can also just kind of follow the waypoints and make your way all the way around. See the treasure chest kind of on the cliff right there. So after you clear it out, there we go, just hover on over. And that's the third chest. The fourth golden chest is also during the mission, Scourge of Winter. Late in the mission, you're gonna go through a, uh, a respawning restricted checkpoint. You're gonna come to this large cavern area and that's the chest right there, right on the bow of that blimp or whatever that thing is, rigid airship. So all you gotta do is just make your way down there. And the final golden treasure chest is found during the strike mission, the Nexus. So just follow the waypoints and eventually in this respawning restricted area, 
you'll kind of come to this large open area and up these stairs to the right will be a little cubicle farm and in the back left corner right here is the final treasure chest hello everybody here are the five golden chests on mars first one just choose the patrol mars option and right from the beginning just kind of follow this dirt path to the right and in this building up here or behind these enemies <laughs> just carry them in there with you uh, right on top of that stack of crates is the first treasure chest the second chest is near the starting area so choose patrol mars again and just go straight ahead. Keep going down into the sand and in this uh, uh, building buried in the sand here. Kind of go down into it and then uh, before you exit this building, you can see there's the exit there at the entrance to the hollows. Kind of this broken down ceiling area. Just jetpack up into there. And behind that wall is the second chest. The third mission, the third mission, the third chest is late in the mission, the buried city. You'll come to this dust palace area. You see the little pop up there on the left. And when you're in this uh, kind of office area, it's normally filled with a bunch of enemies. Go up these stairs on the right, and in this room marked three, behind this desk is the third chest. The fourth chest is at the end of the mission, the Garden Spire. So when you get to this large cavernous room, you can clear out all the enemies first and before activating that last little uh, standoff. You're going to platform a bit and get way up top. Jump on these pipes here to the left, and then jump back up and over, and then sprint and jump all the way across. And there's the fourth. And the final golden chest of the entire game, if you've been following these guides, uh, is during the mission A Rising Tide. So eventually you'll see that Tharsis Junction pop up. And you'll come to this train station area with a bunch of trains kind of perpendicular, perpendicular to your path. Just go straight ahead. And in this back corner. There's this room kind of tucked away in behind another corner. Even more tucked away is the last chest. Unfortunately, it's not that good of a reward. Anyway, thanks for checking out these videos. Uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Destiny stuff. Game on.